Hey everyone, and welcome back to another GT Online video. Today, I'm going to explain in detail how the nightclub business works with the math and statistics behind it. We have a lot to go over, so let's not waste any more time. So let's start out by talking about the easy to understand part, which is the daily income. Every day in game, you'll earn profit of up to $10,000 that will be deposited into your wall safe located in the office of the nightclub. The daily profit is entirely dependent on your club's popularity. As it goes down, so will your daily profit by $1,000 increments. You will have to retrieve this money every so often as you can only hold up to $70,000 at one time in your safe. If you want to increase your popularity, you have to run promotion missions, which range from putting posters around the city or picking up celebrities and bringing them to your club. Now, let's get into the complex part of the nightclub business, the warehouse. I hope I can make this a little easier to understand for you guys, but I'm going to tell you right now, it is really complicated. The warehouse is referred to as the business consolidation, but honestly, I wouldn't describe it like that because it's entirely independent from the other businesses. The best way I can describe it is that it's a new business that stems off of owning your CEO create business, the bunker, and all the other biker businesses. You can still run your other businesses like normal, and they will make profit at the same time as the nightclub. But the biker businesses only need to be active in order for you to use them in the nightclub. You don't have to have supplies in them. So there are seven categories of product in the nightclub business. Printing and copying is forged documents. Organic produce is the weed farm. Cash creation is counterfeit cash. Sporting goods is the bunker. Pharmaceutical research is meth. Cargo and shipments are the CEO and hangar businesses. And South American imports is your cocaine business. You can only hire up to five technicians at once, so there will be two categories that you cannot actively fill up. And we will talk about what the best ones are a little later into the video. The basis of this business is that it's entirely passive income and that it is the most passive business that we have ever seen in all of GTA Online. Things like the biker and bunker businesses are passive income, but you have to go check on them every once in a while and do a refill of supplies. But with this, you do not ever have to resupply. Everything is done by the technicians and all you have to do is play the game and the cargo will fill up over time. Now let's get into the complicated math behind the nightclub business. Each category has different stats as to how many crates you can hold, how much each crate is worth, and how long it takes to accrue each crate. Printing and copying accrues one crate every 15 minutes, it's worth $1,000, and there is a 60 crate limit. Organic produce accrues one crate every 20 minutes, is worth $1,500, and there is an 80 crate limit. Cash creation accrues one crate every 30 minutes, it's worth $3,500, and there is a 40 crate limit. Sporting goods accrues one crate every 40 minutes, and it's worth $5,000, and there is a 100 crate limit. Pharmaceutical research accrues one crate every 60 minutes, it's worth $8,500, and there is a 20 crate limit. Cargo and shipments accrues one crate every 70 minutes, it's worth $10,000, and there is a 50 crate limit. South American Imports accrues one crate every 120 minutes, and it's worth $20,000, and there is a 10 crate limit. Knowing this, we can calculate how long it will take to fill up each category, and how much each category is worth when it's filled up using the formula accrue time times crate limit divided by 60 to get the time in hours that it will take to fill up, and the formula crate limit times crate value to find the total value of each category when it is filled up to the max. So, I did the calculations, and here are the results. Printing and copying takes 15 hours to fill up for a total of $60,000. Organic produce takes 26.6 hours to fill up for $120,000. Cash creation takes 20 hours to fill up for $140,000. Sporting goods takes 66.6 hours to fill up for $500,000. Pharmaceutical research takes 20 hours to fill up for $170,000. Cargo and shipments takes 58.3 hours to fill up for $500,000. And South American imports takes 20 hours to fill up for $200,000. And adding up the total value of each category will give us the maximum amount of cash we can earn from one sell mission. And that is $1,690,000. Which is kind of underwhelming given the time it takes for it all to accrue, but you have to think, this is 100% passive without a need to even check on it, so it's basically just free money as you play the game. Some more things to take into account with this business. Unlike CEO crates, the value of the crates will not go up the more you have. It is completely linear. The special orders do give you more money, but the problem I have with the special orders is that when you go and see an order that you want, then you decide to put your technicians to work on that type of product to meet the requirements, and what happens is the order will go away because they are fresh after a little while. So I don't recommend specifically going for the special orders and rather just see if over time you manage to get one coincidentally. Now that we have gone over all of that, what are the five best ones that you should put your technicians towards? Well, 
that would be the ones that make the most money per hour. So on the screen right now, you will see the money per hour values for each business. And choosing the five best ones would mean that you have South American imports, cargo and shipments, pharmaceutical research, sporting goods, and cash creation. And you'd make a grand total of $41,570 an hour from your warehouse and $12,500 an hour from your income at the club. Since a day in GTA is 48 minutes in real life, we can do some math to figure out the exact hourly income from that. And this is assuming that you have your popularity maxed, of course. So that adds up to be $54,070 an hour from the nightclub business at max efficiency. But we're not done yet, because there's also cell missions that we have to take a look at. So the best thing about the cell missions is that they can be done entirely solo because you will always get one vehicle in the form of the Pounder Custom, the Mule Custom, and the Speedo Custom, depending on how many crates you're selling. If you want to know the crate threshold for getting each vehicle on the cell mission, 0 to 119 crates, you will get the Speedo, 120 to 239 crates, you will get the Mule, and 240 to 360 crates, you will get the Pounder. Tony will take 10% of your base profit of whatever your sale amount is before the high demand bonus is calculated. According to FunMW2, the max cut that Tony can earn is $100,000, so if you sell the full $1,690,000, he would actually be making less than 10% of that cut. So let's say you sell for $200,000 with 20 players in the lobby. Tony will take 10% of that and leave you with $180,000, but then you will get 20% more money from the high demand bonus, so 20% of $180,000 is $36,000, so in the end you will make $216,000. I know that this was a ton of information to take in, but I hope this cleared up some confusion on the nightclub business. I want to thank FunMW2 and the people over on Reddit for contributing to some of this information. I will have links to all the sources in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.